Hey guys, today we're going to be painting an RC car body. This is a body for a Team Losi uh, Mini T 2.0 and I'm going to be using this liquid mask. Um, I've never used this brand of liquid mask before, but we'll see how it turns out. This is Biddy Design brand and it appears to be the most available brand in uh, most local hobby shops or any of the usual online retailers. So the first step is to coat the inside of the body. It's like a, uh, a latex paint almost, where it's real flexible and it, it dries pretty quickly. It's water-based, so it's easy to clean up. You're gonna wanna do a couple coats of this liquid mask, like two or three coats. And it should be pretty, pretty heavy coats as well. You definitely want this to be a thick, uh, sort of built up layer of liquid mask because if it's too thin, it'll be really difficult to remove. You obviously don't need to use a liquid mask, you could use just regular masking tape if you're doing a simple design. The nice thing about the liquid mask is it really lets you sort of draw your design with a, uh, a sharpie marker on the outside and then you can trace it with an X-Acto blade on the inside and peel off the areas that you, you don't want to mask off. It also allows you to try out more intricate designs pretty easily and for this design I'm going to go with a sort of a vintage Team Losi look using the Brian Kinwald drips. It's going to be white on the front, fading into a little bit of blue in the drips, uh, followed by yellow. And then the back of the body is going to be green and red. And right now I'm just sort of drawing the design on there. Now it's time to use an X-Acto blade to trace the design on the inside of the body. So what this does is it's scoring the liquid mask that we applied already, and it's going to make it really easy to peel off portions of it. So if I want to paint the front first, then I'll peel off the front portion of the liquid mask, and it will peel off up until it reaches the scored line that I'm doing right now. Now it's time to peel off the portions that you do want to paint. I'm going to paint the front first. So I'm peeling off the area in front of the drips. And this is where you'll really know if you applied a thick enough coat of liquid mask. Because if it's thick enough, it'll peel off just like this in, in one big piece pretty easily. If it's too thin, it'll just constantly break and be very difficult to remove. It's going to take a lot more time and effort to remove it if the coat is too thin. Now I'm applying the window decals on the inside of the body because I want the windows to be clear so I'm actually using the supplied window decals as window masks. So the first bit of painting I'm going to do is just a little spritz of blue on the ends of the drips followed by white on the front and that's going to give a little bit of a, a fade effect. I'm doing all of this painting with rattle cans rather than airbrush so it's a little bit more difficult to control. 
Now I'm just scoring the, the around the window masks a little bit and then peeling off the next portion, which would be directly behind the drips. Now it's time for a couple light coats of yellow. And I'm following up the yellow with white just to make sure that other colors don't show through the yellow. In this spot I had a little bit of difficulty removing that, that mask because it was a little bit too thin. If you do it thick enough it's really satisfying to peel off the mask because it all comes off at once. So for the bottom portion of the rear of the body I'm going with green. It's a dark enough color that I'm not going to worry about backing it with white. Now it's time to remove the rest of the liquid mask because we're going to paint the final color. With the body completely painted, the only thing left to do is to remove the outer protective film. and peel off the window masks. Now this part's really fun because for the first time you'll be able to see in great clarity all of the mistakes you've made. But don't fret, for now it is time for decals. Could be worse.
And finally, here is the finished product with the decals applied and the wing installed.